Ah, we are live, I presume. Well, greetings, everyone. It is I, Sherlock Higton, with you again for another live stream. And today I'm going to be solving some dastardly murders and some crazy mysteries in Crimes and Punishment Sherlock Holmes. Crimes and Punishment, semicolon, Sherlock Holmes, or whatever, whatever the hell it's called. Um... Uh, this is a, uh, a bit of a change of pace for my live streams. Normally I'm playing some kind of crazy um, shooter or um, racing game or something. But today's uh, stream is more slow-paced and puzzle-based. So let's put that... Oh, yeah, that's good. Let's get that there. And let's press that button there. <coughs> uh, so yeah, if you're not familiar with um, Sherlock Holmes... Crimes and Punishments. It's a, uh, a brand new game. It's uh, been out for about a week. I think it was released uh, just at the start of this month, um, or at the end of last month. Uh, and it's out for the PC, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One. And of course it's based on Sherlock Holmes and uh, his crazy uh, detective skills. Uh, where's my joy? Oh, there it is. There we go. Hope everyone's okay. Anyway, I'm doing this live stream by popular demand, by the way. I put out some tweets um, earlier asking... Um, I wanted to see what people wanted to see me play. It was a choice between Alien Isolation, continuing the story on that, continuing the story on Sleeping Dogs, or playing this uh, brand new, um, brand new uh, game for a live stream. Um, I've played the first case. I'm not actually 100% sure how many cases there are in the game. But I played the first case, The Fate of Black Peter, and that took me quite a while to um, to get through it. I was learning the ropes and stuff. Uh, I'm going to try and complete the riddle of the, on the rails in 90 minutes. I don't think I'm going to be able to. I think each uh, case takes a good couple of hours, maybe more, to solve. So we'll get straight in on this one, and uh, I will... Um, I'll do some shared hats. Wait, 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 wait. Let's get some subtitles on the screen. Oh, they're already on. Cool, cool. Right, I've got subtitles on. That's good. Right, let's start the case of the riddle on the rails. And find out who is watching. Who have we got? Who have we got? Who have we got? Who have we got? Where are we? Thomas Westergaard, Tiago Oliveira, Andrew Graham. Where's the pipe and hat? And he says, I don't have a... I was going to run to the shops and, and buy a costume, but um, I couldn't be bothered to run. I wanted to sit down instead. Uh, Russ O'Leary's here. So's a Titan Sleep. So's Jim Atep. Uh, so's Larry Old 25. So's Paul Convery. So's Gavin UK 86. Um, Light M07. Tyler Briley, FR Player 1. Steve Scodes, Gem Sparks. MD Production 07, Fer Cabrera, uh, who else? You know, CC Crows here, loads of regulars watching. Welcome, regulars, or welcome, one and all. And welcome, any noobs as well. If you are a noob, don't forget to uh, press that subscription button right this there. Trip to the countryside will be good for you. It is my deduction that you will mm. press the subscription button by the end of this live stream. I really do recommend that you give yourself a complete change of scene. Fresh air. That's Holmes. There's he he's wearing his deer stalker. Wood. Sounds intoler I mean, certainly it sounds delightful. Delightful. But you haven't yet told me who the uh, creepy Watson. The we're going to visit. He is a bee lover. A bee lover? Do you mean that he keeps bees? No, I mean he loves Mrs. bees. Hudson, bringing the warm cloth. That he I doesn't love bees. Not like that. There's someone he to keeps see, bees. Mr. Holmes. I have no he's a beekeeper. Time. Send whoever it is away. Yes, Holmes, I really think we ought to leave now. Yeah, no, so no deer stalker or pipe for me. Um, <sighs> Mycroft. Mycroft is uh, Sherlock Holmes' Holmes? brother. Perhaps you don't remember me. I'm Dr. Watson. Chris French over on Twitter says, uh, did you wear a, a deer stalker? And uh, will I be doing I Benedict Cumberbatch puns? I, I won't be doing any Benedict Cumberbatch puns, he does I'm afraid. Watson. My brother remembers he looks everything too much like an eel for me to, uh, to the government. for me to want to think about too much. I know. You know? Sherlock, I need your help. There are people who presently threaten both... Hey, Frankie ADZ. Crown itself. You must help us. Hey, drunk doggy. He says the butler did it. Need help. Those are not words I would readily associate with you, Mycroft. Mycroft. I wrote you a letter. 
but you did not reply. And this is not about politics. It's about people. People similar to those whom you pretend to defend in your petty detective affairs. Everything is about politics with you, Mycroft. I'm not interested. Have some of your agents, your spies, or worse, undertake this job of yours. You are defending your people, and they have little to do with the people I choose to help, I can assure you. That is the point. You think exactly as they do. Who yeah, they do. Are they? <coughs> the What's your Halloween gonna be, a game going to be? Says Jim Mattel. Not sure yet. Uh, if it's anything like last Halloween, I'll do a couple of games, spread it out, they are planning and um, do a, work a little bit later than normal. You do some late night Halloween y streams. You are not the country. Although if Shave that tash a bit, and Watson will be the further. spitting image of <laughs> Charlie Chaplin, says Andrew Graham. Doctor it is nearly Friday, drunk Dougie. Hurrah! Mr. Parker. I don't have a monocle either, Frankie ADZ. Sorry. You are in the fourth car. The train but I could have dressed up like Miss Marple. I have uh, I have, I have plenty of old ladies' dresses to wear. Uh, I normally only do that at the weekend. To me on your return. Okie dokie. So there was um, a little bit of um, a preamble story there. Mycroft wanted me to do something. I don't think Sherlock Holmes is too keen on it. He wants to go on holiday and see his bee-loving friend. He loves the bees. Um, I'm wondering whether this telescope, in the last case, it was looking at something rather interesting. I'm wondering if it's looking at the same thing. Yep, <laughs> it's still looking at the same thing. Not 100%. You can't change where the telescope looks. So I'm not 100% sure why um, Sherlock Holmes is checking out what looks to be a rather rotund lady. This is Sherlock Holmes' apartment. Uh, you've got a few things around here that will help you solve your cases. You've got your analysis table. I had to use that in my last case. You've also got your archive here. This is the uh, this is the 1800s version of the uh, the internet. This is a big pile of newspapers. You've also got uh, Sherlock Holmes' bedroom. And a uh, a nice wardrobe and a makeup table where you can dress up in disguises and things uh, that will help you uh, you know solve your cases. Uh, sometimes you might need to you know, dress up to uh, sneak into somewhere or interrogate someone without them knowing that you are a, a police or in in league with the police. Anyway, let's um, talk to Watson. Please call a cab while I pack my suitcase. We should be late for the train. So he wants me to call a cab. Chronicle. Oh, I don't. I, I'm not going to read that because the Chronicle uh, might spoil the case of Black Peter. Obviously, there's going to be spoilers um, for this case if you are thinking of picking up this game. I'm not going to complete it. I'm going to probably get stuck for about 90 minutes. But just in case you are interested in this game and you don't want any spoilers, it's best to um, to not um, watch this case because I'm going to be bumbling over some clues. So I'm supposed to be phoning a cab, am I? Doesn't, it hasn't even given me a task yet. Maybe that just means I have Watson, to walk to the door. I'll hold the cab for us. We leave in five minutes for the station. There we go. One week later. Hey, BPR Gaming. Hey, Owen uh, 2001. Gavin UK 86. He says, Dirty Watson. No, no deer stalker and pipe for me, I'm afraid. I don't, um, I don't own a pipe or a deer stalker. I, could, I guess I could... Make a <laughs> My streams are slowly becoming episodes of Art Attack. Just call me Neil Buchanan. Nearly finished. What a gloomy night. It was warmer inside the waiting hall. 
since the station master told us that the train is about to arrive, we should not have to wait very much longer. Yes, at last. Attention, the train is arriving at the station. Please stand well away from the platform edge. I'll take your bags and your blasted archive suitcase. But, Holmes, the headlight, it's faded away. Something is wrong. I can't hear any sound from the incoming train. Excuse me, sir. Can you explain what has happened? I, I don't know. It, it's as if the train vanished into thin air. Blow smoke rings. Holmes, say something. Quick, fetch a lantern and let us take a look. It's too dark. Only fog and rails, nothing else. Let's put yeah. some more tobacco There's in there. No use in stumbling around here at night. We will come back tomorrow. There we go. The next morning, very early. As you can see, this game is very action-packed. Uh, you really do need to keep your hands on the controller at all times, otherwise you might miss something action-oriented. Not really. Um, I open my case, but what's going on? Solve the mystery of the vanished train. Ghost train. There are no clues available at the moment to do some deducting, so I'll have to talk about deducting later. <coughs> Gem Spark says, remember to subscribe to Eurogamer's YouTube channel if you enjoyed this video. That's correct, Gem Sparks. You can also give the video a thumbs up if you're already subscribed. I didn't craft well, a deer stalker hat. At Evesham Station. We have a full day ahead. That doesn't really work, Let does it? Begin our investigation. Evesham Station. Right, let's inspect the scene. That's what I need to do. Solve the mystery of the vanished train. There you go. There's the tasks. And inspect the rails where the train vanished. So here we go. What is this? Examine the portable this archives. This contains my archives. We can consult with it if needed. It oh. is fortunate that we took it with us. Yes, it is. You took your whole library with you. How, uh, how fortunate indeed. There's a guy. There's a, whoa, what the? Okay, I think if I walk any way further this way, it tries to load another area. So let's not go that way. Trains can't just vanish without leaving a trace. It isn't possible, is it, Holmes? That does seem a little bit weird, considering the size of trains. You have an R1 button on the PlayStation, anyway. Uh, the R1 button will... Um, oh God damn it. Okay, so <laughs> the R1 button will bring up um, Detective O-Vision. You might need uh, uh, to scour places. Uh, there's a lot of load times with this game, and the locations are very small, so... Um, you've got to have quite a bit of patience with this game. Let's go inside the station and uh, see what's going on here. Two trains daily. Nice grandfather clock there. Uh, detective vision, can I see anything of interest around? Not particularly. Let's go back outside again. Okay, so the train disappeared. I think it disappeared down that end of the tracks. First Maybe. Of all, let us examine the area where the train disappeared. Okay, then let's do that. Let's go and examine the area where the train disappeared, which I believe was down here somewhere. I've been to Evesham not too long ago. It doesn't look anything like this now. I tell you, I told me. What is that? Is that flying paper. That voice acting says Samuel. Uh, this game is so realistic you can clearly see Army was in the... Watson was in the army because he walks so stiff. Let's watch it. Yeah, he does walk pretty stiff. Uh, what's L1 do? Imagination talent. I've not used imagination talent before. Helps you visualize objects and events useful in limited situations. This is the place where we saw the train vanish last night. Okay. What should we do next, Holmes? Well, I think I'd better use my detective vision to check out the empty bottle. 
possibly thrown from the train. Let's have an exam. Is, is a discarded a, uh, item, possibly thrown from the train. Oh, railway sleepers. Let's examine the railway sleepers. Um, it, let's get in the right place. So get out of my way, Watson. Railway sleepers. Nothing unusual. How do people's l people like my pipe? Amazing pipe, so realistic, says Miss Fraggle Rocks. Uh, that's true. Does this game have uh, QTEs? It has kind of weird QTE things. Hello, Prince Nelson. We are joined by royalty, everyone. Welcome, Prince, uh, Prince Nelson. I'm, uh, I'm flattered that you would come to my stream. Railway sleepers. Nothing, Nothing unusual. unusual with the railway sleepers. Okay. Any how far can I... No, can't go any further down. There's some floating grass there, though. Um, it's always useful uh, to check out floating grass, just in case the floating grass has hidden any clues. Okay, so... Empty bottle. Is this patch of mud anything? Ground there near the no rails. tracks or footprints on the ground. Okay. And what is this here? Is that just a graphical glitch? I think that was just a graphical glitch. Hmm. Okay. A discarded item, possibly thrown from the train. Well, oh. Railway sleepers, nothing unusual. Railway sleepers, nothing unusual. The rails have not been touched. There's nothing unusual here. Hmm. So, nothing unusual about the train tracks. There are no signs to indicate that the train ran off the track. Nor are there any other traces. Hmm. There is nothing whatsoever. Curious. There are no clues. But then, a negative result is also a result. That's true. Oh, I see what you're getting at. No clues and you're smiling. Yes, Watson, I do smile on occasion. This mystery appears very promising. Oh, it does. This is really tickled Holmes' detective bones. Simple. We shall require a map of the region. Oh. Perhaps the station master could lend us one. Let's go find a map of the local district. Uh, so you can see I've completed a task there. I've inspected the rails where the train has vanished. Now I need to locate a map of the surrounding area and find more information about the vanished train. Okay, here we go. Hey, Tasman 19. Hey, Steve Scodes. Light M07 says, Ghost Train! Let's watch Holmes walking a little bit more. Robo Holmes. Robo Holmes. Ro no, <laughs> Watson even. Robo Watson. They're both a bit robotic. We are robots. This is a virtual robotic simulation of Sherlock Holmes. He's got a bit limp-wristed. Who are you? Talk to Robo Sherlock Holmes. Okay, so what kind Good of... Good morning. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. Yes, I remember you. I'm Station Master Everett. You were here last night. So, you are Mr. Holmes, the great detective. Yep. Will you be investigating what happened? Nice. No, yes. Be. It is extraordinary that an entire train could disappear like that. And to think of all the poor people inside it, the passengers, the driver. That is indeed... <coughs> Sorry, my dather. <laughs> oh, I should quit. That is indeed strange. Right, so you get these uh, moments where you can um, closely inspect the people you're talking to. Uh, you basically move the cursor around until it glows up. He's got fully grey hair. I deduce that that means he's an old man. What else might there be? A button. What's this? It's an honorary badge. I deduce that he's an honorary member of the Train Society. Uh, anything else uh, that is uh, of interest there? Oh, what's this? That might be of interest. Some scuffs there. No. What about his hands? Oh, yes. Hands. Spots of earth. He's been doing some digging. And he's got... What's this? He's also got a, a wedding ring. So he's an old married man who's been digging around. Information about the train. Let's talk Could to him about the train. Could you give us any details about the train? Well, there was nothing so very special about it. At least, not that I can recall. My memory's not what it used to be. 
However, if you need it, uh, you can have the train composition report. Yes, please. Inside my office. That would be very helpful. <laughs> I would be glad to have a detailed map of the local railway district. But of course, please, take the one that's pinned inside the waiting hall. See you later, my good man. I think he did it. You did it, didn't you? Watson, kick his head in. Not really. All right. I forgot where the map was supposed to be. Not here. Ooh. Postal bags. Railway post bags. Railway post bags. Let's have a quick uh, detective look, just in case. Let's keep going, Watson. What's on? What's off? What's on? What's off? What's on? What's off? Where did he say that map was? I think it's here. Here we go. Railway map. Soundtrack of this case. Crazy trains, says for Cabrera. Turns out trains don't run on Sunday. Case closed, says 86 and Mad Hatter. Brilliant. This map will be useful. The voice actor for the station master is doing their best Alan Bennett impression. Right, so we've got a nice map of the area now. We've got Evesham. Looks like we're going to go be going to Nottingham as well at some point. I've done that. I found a map. So now, what are we doing now? What's what's the next? Find more information about the vanished train. Okay. Get out of my way. Oh, what's this now? What's it want me to do? Oh, what, what, what wants me to do something on the map? Does it want me to go to Evesham? Oh, that did. Wait, what? Hmm. I'm not sure I understand. Yeah. Yeah, screw you. Alright, let's, let's have a... Wait a minute. Anything on there? I know what I need to look at. Junk pile. What do we got here? A, junk, a locomotive bell. An old locomotive bell. Oh. If that's the bell start, then that must be the bell finish. Hmm. This part is probably from a locomotive. This place serves as a storage area for the station. Yeah. Excellent. Anything else kind of cool? No. All right. The whole train just disappeared. It's unbelievable. Get over it, man! What have we got down here? Can we get up on the roof? No. No, no parkouring for... Uh, no parkouring for homes there. How far can we walk down here before it turns us back? Oh, not very far at all. Oh, God. Mew, 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 mew. What's this? Is dope. Ooh, what is this in here? We got laser stuff going on now. Um, evidence. What was that guy saying about the? So you can check out what the people are saying as well. I would be glad to have. Uh, oh, if you need it, you can have the train composition report. It's inside my office. Where's the station master's office? I, I'm probably going off track a bit uh, and going into the train death yard. Where's the station master's office? That's the postal bit. Maybe the station master's office is around. There, uh, yes, there it is. Ticket office. That'll be where it is. So, platform. 1D. What have we got? What have we got? A telegraph. Ooh. A telegraph. <clears throat> What's your favourite newspaper, Sherlock Holmes? A telegraph. <laughs> the train is on the roof. Case closed as Lolly Old 25.
Right, what are we doing here? What are we looking at? Message to all stations. Mr. Robinson is located at Burlington Station. A new telegram. Oh. I think we should meet this Mr. Robinson. Yes, I think we should too. What else have we got here? Whoa. Okay. Cool. What is this here? Line, Nottingham, London. Train, line, a 324. Locomotive coal, first class car, postal wagon, special wagon. Ordered by Mr. Robinson. There's a special yeah, wagon on it. Hmm. Mr. Robinson ordered it. Okay. It's interesting. Some kind of special carriage on there. Some of the evidence can be used in the investigations and will be marked with specific icons. <coughs> <coughs> so this one... Uh, this wants me to talk to Mr. Robinson, I think. Whoever Mr. Robinson is. A telegraph. A telegraph. Excuse me, Mr. Holmes, what's your favourite kind of pole? A telegraph. <laughs> All better. I upset myself with the poorness of my jokes. The whole train just disappeared. Get out of my get out of my way, Robo Watson. I'm coming to kill you, I am a robot. This game's looking like a sleeper. Yes, it's Hurricane Invasive I'm talking about sleeper tricks. Special wagon. According to the train composition report, there was a special wagon. What does that entail? That's a highly secure car, ordered by a private party. Uh, it is generally to carry something of value. Uh, those wagons have iron walls, you know, without any windows. Uh, and they're fitted with a complex key lock. That is important information. Do you know what was inside this particular wagon? Certainly not. No, that's private. And it's not my responsibility to allot the wagons to whoever. Hmm. Sherlock Holmes has uh, retweeted me on Twitter, and I've been followed by another Sherlock Holmes as well. There's so many Sherlock Holmes, which one is it? Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes followed me, and computer game Sherlock Holmes retweeted me. Right, passengers of the train. Was there anything exceptional about any of the passengers aboard the train? What do you mean? Like officials? Oh, I wouldn't know. Oh, but now that you mention it, yes, there was something. There was a message from Bridlington Station saying that the train had been delayed because of an issue with the passengers. Oh. Uh, what kind of problem that they didn't say? No. Oh. That is interesting. That is interesting. Bridlington Station. You mentioned a problem at Bridlington Station. I should like to visit this station. Could you mark it on the local map? Yes, please. Of course. Mark it on the map. It's a suburban railway station. You might take a cab there. See you later, my good man. So, dialogue. The Eastern Station Master received a message informing of the train's delay due to some issues with passengers at Bridlington Station. And now he's marked on my map where Bridlington Station would be. It's right by Nottingham. So, uh, the next course of action is to head to Bridlington Station. So, let's do that. Uh, this game is uh, is rather slow paced, as I was saying before. But uh, I did I generally um, I generally uh, enjoyed uh, it not too much. Uh, I generally enjoyed it. Um, all right. Sorry, I was reading something at the same time. Sorry, odd email came up. Yeah, I generally enjoyed solving the first case. Um, I think if you're uh, into slow-paced games, um, puzzle games, and things like this, um, you'll probably enjoy this. I'm not. I, I don't think this is going to be um, a game that my um, typical audience would uh, rush to buy, though. To be completely honest.
The whole train just disappeared. It's unbelievable. Jesus Christ, Robo Watson, you really don't say much, do you? Say something interesting. The whole train just disappeared. It's unbelievable. I'm gonna I'm gonna punch you. Don't you back away from me, I'm gonna punch you. Right, let's go in here. Sup Angry Passenger. This is an absolute scandal. It's always the same with these rail companies. No respect for the customer. Needs more LA Noir. You're lying. Prove it, damn it, says 86 the Mad Hatter. I was followed by Sherlock Holmes on Twitter for voting for you to play this, says Andrew Graham. The whole train just disappeared. It's unbelievable, says CC Crow. Let's check out this guy. He's an angry passenger. He's got an angry goatee. S study his eyes. Right. What could there be? Oh, work. He's in work clothes. Okay. What else? What, oh, what's that in his pocket? He's got a cheap ticket. No first class for this guy. Wedding ring. Married. Oh, rough skin. Okay. So I've completed the character portrait on this guy. Please calm down, sir. What is your concern? <laughs> concern? What is my concern? I'll tell you what my concern is. Is this an easy platinum? Last night, I'll run the train as usual with my Dunno. car heading home. I've not completed it. I think you have to replay it a lot, though, to get to the platinum. started arguing that our tickets were invalid. He made us get off the train. <clears> and he was extremely rude about it. Hmm, interesting. Were you aboard the train that vanished last night? Yes. I heard that it disappeared. But I don't care because we would have stopped before then anyway. Our tickets were valid and no doubt mm. about it. So someone kicked the them off the off. train the even though their tickets were too, valid. Except for a bunch of rich. Well, because their type don't need a ticket. Hmm, interesting. Can you recall anything more specific about this fortunate group? Well, yes. They were all foreigners. Spanish-looking toffs with snake eyes. Slightly racist. Goodbye, sir. Okay, so, he's a bit angry. All the poor people got pushed off the train before it vanished, but the, some rich Spaniards were left on there. There's Mr. Robinson. This is the guy, the special coach, the special carriage guy. Good day to you, sir. Good day. Good day! Who am I speaking? <laughs> My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is... Are you a representative of this damned railway company? Because I have a complaint. We are not from the railway company. We are... Well, in that case, Mr. Shamrock Flomes, please excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for idle chit-chat at the moment. He's an angry Aussie. Let's check him out. Let's find out what we can uh, deduce from his appearance. He's got an Australian hat. I think... That's pretty much blatant. What's that on the side? Anything on the side? No. Oh, expensive clothes. He's he's rich. And what have we got here? Heavy gold ring. Keep your eyes off my ring. Anything? Snakeskin shoes. Fancy shoes. Crocodile skin shoes. Oh. So, Mr. Robinson, you. You must be Mr. Robinson. Posh. Is that correct? Yes. I am leading the investigation. I already knew he was called Mr. Robinson because of the floating Mr. Robinson above his head. So I'm a little bit cleverer ah, than Sherlock Holmes well, right about now. All right. I have nothing to hide. <clears throat> okay, let's ask him about his special wagon. I presume it was you who placed the order for the special wagon. Those right? Yes. It was to transport my valuable prototype safely to London. Ooh. My prototype is a revolutionary device. It is capable of producing electricity. Oh. I'm a businessman and an engineer. I had already found several potential customers for my invention. But I was very optimistic about mm. the director's board who were travelling on the train last night. Company direction, the prototype were you on the train? Uh, let's talk about the prototype's mm. value. This revolutionary machine of yours, was it very valuable? For God's sake, sir. It is priceless. It's priceless. It could change the that world. That means I could get it for free? And yet, I was selling it for almost nothing. 
I am a humanitarian, you see. I do not know if I will ever be able to get over this disaster. I cannot believe that it disappeared with that damn train. Oh! Was he on the train? Mr. Robinson, could you please clarify? Were you travelling alongside your People prototype? People talking about tea and biscuits make yes, me hungry. I was, but I had to step off the train. And all because of this stupid station master. I received a telegram declaring that an important person, a Mr. Bromsby, wished to see you in the waiting room. I, I merely informed you of this. Mr. Bromsby is a wealthy gentleman. His interest in my invention was truly unexpected. So yes, of course, I agreed to see him. Unfortunately, he wasn't there. I thought perhaps he might have been delayed. So I chose to wait a while. But despite my requests, the train left the station without me. Absolutely unacceptable. What, what, what? The timetable is strict. We cannot wait any longer. The regulations require the train to be on time. You are an idiot. You will pay for it. I will sue you. Well, he did deserve it. You mentioned a director's board. Which company do they own? The Chilean Barcazas Company. I had made an appointment with them. Now they are lost, along with the train and my prototype. What do you know about the Barcazas Company? It's a large South American company. They showed a great deal of interest in my prototype, and they seemed wealthy enough to do business with. The ticket inspector forced all the passengers from the train except for the directors of the Barcazas Chilean... Just trying to find out who did the voice acting for this game, but I can't see any wonder. Which is pity. Can't, can't find it on Google. Right, so, what, what, what were we saying? The, the Evesham Station Master received a message informing of the train's delay due to some issues with some passengers at Bridlington Station. Let's talk to the Station Master. Where did he go? You in here? Yeah, there he is. This guy, I don't trust this guy. He's shifty. Good day to you, gentlemen. How may I help you? Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I am investigating the unfortunate disappearance of last night's train. I see. Hmm. Uh, I'm Station Master Bertram, but my supervisor has not informed me about this. <coughs> I do not know if... Uh, do not worry. I have only a few questions. Okay. Station Master Everett from Evesham told us that you reported a problem with some passengers last night. Indeed. This train is a regular line for those who work at Nottingham. But yesterday, everyone was asked to get off the train here at my station. I've no idea why, and it delayed the train. But the worst of it is that now I have to deal with two furious passengers who are complaining about the company's service. They stayed here the whole night, but people oh, don't uh, usually pay much attention to the regulations. Burn a hole in the sofa. There are very strict and clear rules. Paragraph 234 of Article 2G-43 states that in the event of a complaint, you must... Yes, yes, thank you. I understand. <coughs> <coughs> I live near Evesham, says Riot Fly. Let's check this guy out. Find out what we can learn about him. Shifty face. Young age, shifty face. What else we got? Oop. Clean clothes. He's, he's, he's clean. Recently washed his clothes to remove any trace of train that he stole when he pickpocketed it. He's got instructions um, and he's got ink smudges. Whoa! Apart from the passengers disembarking, did you notice anything else that was unusual last night? I did. And I mentioned it in my report to our higher management on the matter. What was it? Sorry, but I can't tell you. The station master's reports are confidential. Confidential, you say? How long have you been working here? I have worked here long enough to be uh, quite capable of managing a railway station. Oh, Christ. I see. Whoops. Let's do that Apart again. From the I what was it? Sorry. Confidential. I have worked here long enough to be uh, quite capable of managing a railway station. Um, he's he's a rookie station master, I think. 
Let me speak frankly, Mr. Bertram. <coughs> Your age. Ask Watson what he thinks about the train disappearances in IBM 07. You cannot deny that you have only recently completed your studies. I was at the top of my class. Listen here, young man. I am aware that you wish to protect yourself behind all these regulations, but I represent the law. And you are obstructing the investigation of an important case. I would suggest that you cooperate with Mr. Holmes. Think of your career. Ah, that is... Well, I'll tell you everything. Weak. First of all, I scolded the ticket inspector, for it was he who asked the passengers to leave the train. <clears throat> it was not his right to do so. It was mm. very rude. And then, the later on, inspector, I hey? received a most peculiar telegram from my colleague at Chesterfield Station. Chesterfield Station, eh? Hey? What did the strange message say? What did the telegram say? I'm going to have to double stroke well, my beard that for this. That's a peculiar thing. It was almost unreadable. It was full of errors and awfully vague. Mm. It was hard to understand if the train had correctly passed that station or not. You can read it for yourself. Yes, please. We ought to visit Chesterfield Station. We need to confirm if the station master saw the train or not. Okay, here's a telegram from Chesterfield Station. Trut Lulivi Station, train number 324, Aravega 003, Duratide, or 005. Okay. Oh, I can do some deductions now. So, uh, the deduction skill, the deduction thing you see here is how you uh, go around solving the crime in the end. You have to piece together pieces of information to try and um, come up with a way for, uh, you know, an idea on, uh, your idea on how or why or what has caused these things to happen. You can, uh, there are multiple ways to uh, solve the cases or at least deduce the cases uh, outcomes. Uh, whether or not you do them correctly, you only find out uh, at the end of the case. Um, so I've got lots of stuff that I can do here. We've got a train vanished with people. Let's try and connect it with Chile and stayed on the train. Yes, so there we go, that worked. Uh, that has given me two different options. Did the Chileans stay on the train uh, because it was a coincidence and the train conductor overlooked them? Or the directors of the Chilean Barca's company were intentionally left on the train. The controller removed all passengers from the train except the Chileans. I think that they were left on the train on purpose and everyone else was left on, uh, taken off the train for some reason. Um, so I'm going to say that is, uh, that's my deduction there. I'm going to go back. Um, is there anything else I can actually deduce? No signs of the train. Chesterfield Telegram. I think... See, none of these ones line up now. So these, these clues don't line up with each other. So these ones are still floating around. At the moment, not too much to deduce except for that I think there's something... A little bit iffy with the Chileans. Oh, it, oh, it's telling me to R1 in here. Holmes, how is it even possible for a train to disappear? Ghosts, Watson! Ghost trains! Is there any clues lying around? I can't see any clues. Oh, there we go. Gap in the floor. Sheets of paper. What's this? Secret documents. The insurance policy for Robinson's machine. Oh. Hmm. This is interesting. So, £15,000 insurance policy on Robinson's machine. Perhaps this machine doesn't actually work and he's just trying to claim insurance. And he's working with some people on the train line to make sure he can claim the insurance. And then he's going to share it with the people on the train line. Whoa! Could be nothing to do with that, though. This could be a red herring. So it wants me to head to um, Chesterfield, but first I'm going to go and talk to Robinson about his insurance policy. Well, I wonder if uh, this guy will know about the insurance policy actually, because. Don't touch anything, please. Oh. I wonder how that ended up in his office. Yeah, here we go. Mr. Robinson wants to talk a bit about his insurance policy, I reckon. Kerry Shane voices Sherlock Holmes and Nick Brimble voices Dr. Watson. Thank you very much, Gavin UK86.
According to this document, you have insurance for your prototype. Oh, thank God. Where did you find it? Near the telegraph station. I must have lost it when I tried to send a message, which I was prevented from doing. I apologize for that, but regulations state that public access to the telegraph is strictly prohibited. Upon my word, you keep on digging that hole of yours. You have no idea who I am. I see that you kept your grip sack. <laughs> Why don't you leave it in the luggage room? <laughs> Get your hands off my grip sack. I lost my prototype. And this idiot station master just stands here doing nothing to help. Oh, but... Well, that won't do at all. Station master, I believe that the regulations state that any passenger luggage should be taken to the luggage room. I'll do it right away, sir. Sorry, sir. This Robinson is quite a character. We should learn more about him. Hmm. Okay, so... Find out what the special wagon was carrying. Examine Robinson's luggage... Uh, luggage? Examine Robinson's luggage at the Bridlington left luggage room. I will do that. And then I will go to Chesterfield. Where would the luggage room be? Left luggage? You have it in the left luggage room? Where did he take it? I can't remember. What's this? Bridlington's... Why would you have put his luggage in the left luggage room? That's odd. I'd want my Robins... I'd want my luggage kept with me. What's this say? This grip sack belongs to Mr. Robinson. Mr. Robinson. I think we should open it, Holmes. This is what they call force majeure. I'll keep watch. Go on. Of course. Let's open this up. A little bit of... A uh, little bit of crime... But not much punishment, please. Okay, let's... Uh, so we need to uh, join the lines, basically. Um, I don't think that's right. We're picking some locks. We're tumbling some locks. Okay, that looks right. Uh, uh, let's go with that one. Uh, oh, look, that's that's slightly off. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, it worked. Didn't look like it fit, but it worked. Business papers. Let's have a look at what his business papers are. I hate it when people hold my grip sacks, says Gavin UK86. A lot of grip sack holding on <laughs> going from between those two, says Life M07. You wouldn't want to lose your grip sack, says Thomas Westergaard. Hell no. Is this carry on Sherlock, Sherlock says Drunk Dougie One. Uh, right, let's have a look. What we got? Underlying. This is an exclusive sales contract. Alright. An exclusive sales contract. Uh, Mr. Robinson is the seller. Oh. Okay. Some good underlining. Yet another exclusive sales contract. Yes. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Oh. Wait, what? Okay. Same kind of contract. Yet another exclusive sales contract. Oh. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Okay. Yet another exclusive sales contract. What the? Mr. Robinson is the seller. Okay. Well, it is very clear that this Mr. Robinson received prepayments from various people Pre for his payments. machine. Prepayments. All right. Find out more about Mr. Robinson completed. Let's see if uh, Watson's got any pearls of wisdom. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. You're always on my mind, Watson. You and me, forever and ever. You're looking very tall today, Watson. Watson, have you ever wondered what's on my mind? I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Hmm, elementary, my dear Watson. Anything? 
Yellow. Nothing. Yellow. Okay, now what's the deal? What's the deal now? Solve the mystery of the vanished train. Okay, so I guess maybe it's time to head to the other place, the other station. Is this guy? I talked to the guy getting here. I can't get in there. Is that guy smoking a pipe? No, he's just stroking his beard. Nottingham, Chesterfield. Um. Yeah. Ooh, warehouse. I haven't looked in the warehouse yet. Clues. Clues for yous. Clues for me is clues for yous. If you snooze, you miss the clues. That's uh, Sherlock Holmes' uh, well-known motto. Everyone knows that motto. I don't think there's anything here. Watson, let's get the rock out of here. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, wait a minute. What have we got here? Special wagon. No traces of train. Prototype has many customers. Prototype has insurance. No, that doesn't go together. No traces of train. No. No. Oh. What have we got here? We've got a new deduction. Robinson is a victim. The loss of the machine is a disaster for Mr. Robinson. Even though he planned this fraud, he has lost far more than he could gain. The insurance will not cover the total cost of the prototype. So even though he planned this fraud, so we're uh, we're assuming that he planned the fraud already, are we? Okay, I read my mind. I, uh, but he's so he's lost more than he could gain. What? Okay, I don't really get that. All right, let's go to Chesterfield. I like when consoles try. I never like when consoles try to initiate, uh, imitate a mouse cursor with the analog stick. Says Gavin UK86. <laughs> so looks game for a bit of spooning. Says James Houseman. Watson's always the big spoon. Okay, right, let's carry on. What's up now? What's going on in Chesterfield? Bound to be something rather exciting. Oh, it's night time in Chesterfield. Time to enter the station. Sup, Chesterfield! I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. I didn't even ask you a question. You do understand that, don't you, Watson? A fishing advertisement. Hmm, interesting. There's something fishy about this. <laughs> Sorry. Can I go through here? Oh, I... This guy's probably going to be a little bit drunk. How could he fall asleep at work like this? Excuse me, sir. Wake up. <clears throat> ah, his breath. He must have swallowed half a distillery. I am the best detective and that in the world. The how? <clears throat> By his sleeping off the alcohol, you mean? Wake up, please. Huh. What? The 18 hours 72 train has arrived. Yeah. Good day to you. We are investigating. The it must be a pretty boring job being a station train. master in the past like when there's hardly any questions. trains. Were there any passengers who got off that Hey, Deadpool fan. At your station last night. No, nobody, it seems to me. Although I did not leave my office, so... No doubt you were very busy. You don't say. You can't ever get any peace around here. Now nah, you have to send a telegram each time a train arrives into parts. Boop. <laughs> Boop. All right, let's check him out. Let's look at his boozy nose. Oh, that, that boozy nose straight away. Red nose, booze nose. Soft, kissable lips. What else we will? Clean clothes. He's married. Everyone's married in this game. No good single men around. What have we got here? Fishing line. He likes a bit of fishing, doesn't he? Can back up. What have I missed? I've missed something. 
Those red nose. What could it be? What have I missed? Those are the Victorian Railways. Buttons. Crotch. Uh -oh. oh! Alcohol flask. He's a boozer! Hey, and this game looks quite interesting. It is quite interesting. It's definitely an acquired taste. The strange station master Bertram from Bridlington showed me a strange telegram that he received from you last night. It concerned the train, but it was barely comprehensible. What? He's a fastidious little twerp, that Bertram. <laughs> I remember everything quite clearly. It was late, and I was tired, but I did my work. So what? There's no need to be so petty. Never mind. The station master Bertram from Bridlington showed me a strange telegram that he received from you last night. It concerned the train, but it was barely comprehensible. What? He's a fastidious little twerp, that Bertram. I remember everything quite clearly. It was late, and I was tired, but I did my work. So what? There's no need to be so petty. Look. Binge drinking, insurance policy, binge drinking. You were not tired, you were inebriated. Tell me the truth now, or I shall not hesitate to document your state in my report. My friend means that you will end up by being sacked from your position. All right. So I was drunk. I, I, I don't remember all of yesterday, to be truthful to you. Please don't go harsh on me. Huh, lol. Holmes, this man has consumed a considerable amount of alcohol. He's not entirely helpless yet, but... It will not be long before he is. Obviously, his testimony cannot be trusted. Uh, I, so I can do some more deduction-y things now. Uh, Chesterfield Master is untrustworthy. Can I make, make, oh yeah, put that with the telegram. What's that going to say? The train passed through Chesterfield Station despite being our being unsure if the Station Master sent the report. The train never passed through Chesterfield Station. The Station Master was drunk and his testimony seems unreliable. He could have sent the report without witnessing the train. I think he was drunk and he sent the report because he just had to and he was hammered. I think, I think that's what's happened. I don't think someone else sent the message, otherwise they'd have probably sent it. They probably wouldn't have faked drunkenness. He's got a nice dinner there. Cheese, salami and bread. It's looking good. Next gen din dins. Uh, seven. Ah, will I ever get any peace? Well, this Robinson fellow seems suspicious to me. What the? He got some bread, sausage, and stuff there. What? This guy's got the best job in the world. He just gets hammered and eats awesome meats and cheeses. Telegraph. A telegraph. What is this here? Morse code alphabet. I had thought that all station masters knew the Morse code, but apparently not. Apparently not. Hmm. Of course you have to send telegrams by Morse code. Maybe the person who sent the telegram wasn't a station master oh, will I ever get any peace? and didn't actually know Morse code. It could just be that that guy was drunk, but now, hmm, what? Oh, it's crazy, I don't really know now. Station master was very drunk. He was indeed. So what's it saying now? Chesterfield Railway Station should be carefully examined. Okay, let's carefully examine Chesterfield Railway Station. See if we can find any clues. Maybe we want to find some clues on whether or not the train actually passed through or not. Um, what's in here? Hand car wheel base. A hand car wheel base. Wheel base. It appears that elements of the same construction were scattered everywhere. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Must have some kind of uh, Watson, prominence because there's a cutscene. Do you believe in magic? 
Of course not, Holmes. Then you are of the opinion that a train cannot simply disappear? Well, we both know that that is obvious. Why are you asking such peculiar questions? Peculiar questions? A little patience, Watson. You will understand my point quite soon. So, are you quite certain that you saw the train at Evesham Station? Well, yes, of course. We saw it coming. The headlights and heard the whistle. But that is it. We didn't see the train itself. No, we didn't. Oh, uh, but... Oh, Holmes, I'm a little confused. I would fall asleep within five minutes of playing this, but I can watch Sherlock on BBC about a million times, says Jimatep. Okay, so... Here we go. So, yeah, I think... Uh, They've used a hand car and they've mocked up a train. This mantled hand car seems directly connected to our mystery. Reconstruct the hand car to see if it can imitate the vanished train. Okay. Let's do it. Let's fake the train experiment. This mantled hand car seems directly connected to our uh, mystery. Let's reconstruct the hand car. Okay, let's do it. Let's do this. We're making a train to see if I can match how do I put the wheel on the other side small I should use the appropriate can I how do I put the wheel on the other side well alright okay then what have we got we need some lamps or something what have we got what's that Brakes. Yeah, let's put some brakes on. Where'd the brakes go? There. I should use the appropriate. Oh. I should use. No. Where'd the brakes go? Where'd the brakes go on the train? Drop it. 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 Return object. Shoot. I pressed exit. Oh no. It's okay. Wooden board. There we go. So, wooden boards on the train. Nice. What else? We got small gear. A small gear and small in the gear housing, nice, nice. Hand mechanism. Hand mechanism goes on there, yeah, I reckon. What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, there we go. Oh, we can spin it around like that. There we go. Let's get that wheel and that there. Then maybe we can put the brakes on this bit. There we go. Brakes joint. There we go. Oh, I've made myself a train! They should make a Scooby Doo game like this. Ha ha, says Andrew Graham. Train. This game doesn't really suit Let's Plays too slow. I can imagine it'd be quite relaxing to play as Ms. Fraggle Rock. Like be patient, Watson. I haven't finished yet. Try using your imagination. Our train requires only a headlight. John and Bob heard and this game is really good. What? I missed it. What are we doing? We're doing. We're using Sherlock Holmes's imagination powers. And the imagination. Powers are such that we need to attach a headlight, headlight and a steam whistle. Whistle, okay. I can do that probably. That the uh, that that it. Okay, I guess we need to attach a headlight and a steam whistle. The fire extinguisher. I got fire extinguisher for some reason. What's that? Long pole. Long pole. Check out my long pole, Watson. Train spare parts. What do we got in here? Headlights. Headlights. Yes. Then we need one of them. We need a steam whistle. Whistle. Train steam whistle. There we go. Train steam whistle. Let's get out here and let's attach. Place, connect headlight. The long pole is now attached. Wait, what? It will allow us to connect the headlight. Oh, I see. The headlight is attached. There you go. The steam whistle is now. The steam whistle, Will oh, Wheaton. What can we do to make the steam whistle work? Steam whistle. It is elementary, my dear Watson. We shall need a fire extinguisher. That's lucky I just picked up a fire extinguisher, isn't it? The fire extinguisher. Now, let us see what we have here. 
The steel <laughs> whistle is <laughs> Oh, that is. Oh, okay. Chick chicka de choo, Alright. This Robinson fellow seems suspicious to what? me. Now what? Now what's it want me to do? I don't understand. What do you want me to do? Oh. Ow. Oh. Oh. Watson, I do believe that we have created. I can't wait to see you play the evil within, says Deadpool Fun. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. In front of us last night, the criminal mind can be most. Yeah, where's the tea and biscuits? I, am I don't have any. So such a thing. I don't have any under one seven seven zero. Someone went to all the trouble of creating this fake train. Then it was surely with the all jokes aside, I could see myself enjoying this as 86 ah, uh, Mad Hatter. Watson, you should not jump to it's pretty chilled out. In fact, this it's not everyone's cup of tea, lol, but... Except that the train did not evaporate mm -hmm. in the thin air. Although you half suspected it. Ah, at any rate, huh. we now need to find where the real train might be hidden. Oh. I suggest we use my archives to find a more detailed map of our surroundings. Okay. Well, I hope that justifies our having to load your massive archive suitcase onto the cab. It made us extremely unpopular with our driver. Lols, Watson. Okay, what are we doing? We're doing some deducted de deductioneering. Fake train. Spare parts of handcar. Okay. The train never reached Evesham. It disappeared earlier and was faked by somebody using a handcart and a spare train and spare train parts from Chesterfield Station. I think that's true. Oh, and these go together as well. What have we got here? We've got a choice. The loss of the prototype will bring a lot of easy money to Mr. Robinson thanks to insurance and multiple fraudulent exclusive contracts. Loss of machine is a disaster for Mr. Robinson. Even though he planned this fraud, he lost more than he could gain. The insurance will not cover. Uh, I th think... Wait. I don't know, actually. Oh. Let's have a look at my books, my documents quickly. Uh, insurance policy was about 15,000, wasn't it? 15,000 pounds. Um, I can't remember how much. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Let's go to my carriage. Locked. Follow me, Watson no Botson. In asking the station master to open it. Oh, wait a minute. We shall have to pick the lock. Sweet, breaking an entry. I'm up for a little bit of breaking an entry. Breaking into a train station is a victimless crime. Oh. oh, we're missing. What's this bit here? Is that it? Come on, how come like, this bit's not clicked and that other one did when it was well off? There you go. It's a little bit odd. Jimotech says, yeah, a crime crime in a game where you get punished for it, says Jimotech. Yeah, I'm a criminal. Instruments, examine. These tools were used quite recently. They are still muddy. Muddy. We should ask about them. Yes, we should ask about them. Railway post bags. Railway post bags. 
floor. Scratches. Bags were recently dragged here. Oh. Bags, eh? French <laughs> wine. Ooh. A remarkable vintage. These bottles are too expensive for a station master's wage. They were likely taken from Interesting. The so he's a drunk Shit. and a thief. Ghost! Ghost door! Ghost door! Ghost door, Watson! Ghost door! I'll confront him in a sec. Let's search my archives. Maps. We must combine them. Now we have two maps. Move small map. Oh, 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 okay. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So I've got to, um. Oh. Oh, it's like that, is it? So I have to move this map over this and kind of. Oh, oh, oh there we go. That works. Now what? Now what am I supposed to do? Is that it? Oh wait. Oh. Uh, uh. So my small map. That's the one I had. So I need to. What do I need to do? Oh, stop it! Why does it keeps? It keeps. All right. Okay. Be like that. Maybe that wasn't the right one. That looks like the right place. For it to go. So what? So what do I do now? With it? Is there another place that looks like this? Oh god, it's huge. That's what she said. Nottingham, London. London, Nottingham. Maybe there's another place. The no, totally, totally. Ma no, what? There is a side branch to the railway. Its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield stations. Ooh. There is one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield and Evesham, and there should be a side railway to the nearby quarry. There is a small section of a railway at the end of Evesham station. Oh. Interesting. This is just, like, this is just super deep. Examine the railway at the switch. So I need to examine the railway at switch. I need to examine the side railway and examine the side railway at Evesham and Chesterfield. Uh, well, I've got so lots of different locations. Um, let's quickly talk to the drunk station master about these tools. See what the deal is with the um, the tools. Tools. Perhaps it was the train from Back to the Future 3, says 86 the Mad Hatter. That's a good explanation. It could possibly be that. Dirty instruments. You have quite Keep a your hands of off my dirty, dirty tools instruments. Lying around here. Ah, yes. Well, thank you for reminding me. I should clean them. <coughs> Although, it might be easier to put them outside. Seems it might start raining soon. He saw the train to I fund his, bo fund his booze habits, says Thomas Westergaard. Good deduction. Workers come here and borrowed them from me. They wanted to lift the edge of the railway to one of the stations on the line so that the water wouldn't come in too close. Who were these workers? Well, they didn't seem to be from the company, but they was fine lads. It was fine lads. They invited me to share a drink. <laughs> and whatever it was, it had a kick to it. They wasn't English. No, I don't believe so. Hmm. But see... They knew just what a man needed to brighten up his dull evening. So they weren't English workers. They gave him some booze. Ah, oh, will I ever... I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Hmm. So, I'm going to change my deduction. I think the train passed through Chesterfield Station and someone else sent the report that were foreign and they couldn't do it properly. They got him drunk. The workers got him drunk and sent the report. I think that's what happened. So let's 
anything in the waiting hall, it's of use. What have we got? No. Uh, no, no, no. Alright. Okay, let's go and investigate the railway switch. So we think, I think, it, I actually think it passed Chesterfield. That's why they did the switch. I don't think it'll be there. I think it's more likely to be there, there, there that station. But I'll check the railway switch just in case. They decided to steal his prototype not knowing it was fake, Sam Moore reckons. Hey Ian, hey all, just noticed the stream. How's the game? Says Accurate Bob. Hey Accurate Bob, it's alright. It's um, an acquired taste. It's very slow burn, very slow burn game. Sort of game you could probably like chill out, glass of brandy, play slowly. So here's the railway switch. What are we doing a here? Fake train. Ha! What a clever and devilish trick. So here's the railway switch. It goes to some mines. The switch is rusted, but it still works. Hmm. <coughs> Just feel Bridlington. Alright, well let's have a walk up here then and see if there's anything at the mines. Is that gonna Is this gonna stop us from going further than this point? It did. Hmm. So it's old and rusted, it still works. So it could have switched at this switch, I guess. There doesn't seem to be any other clues apart from the fact that it was rusty but it still works. Did I is is that it? Have I done that bit? Examine the side railway branch that begins at the railway switch. So I haven't examined it properly. I've missed something. What could I have missed? I'm examining it. I am totally examining this. I'm not, I'm not really sure where where it wants me to examine. Is that is that anything? No. Duh. What, what do you what do you want me to examine, yo? Got no prompts popping up anywhere. Um, maybe I get some prompts by looking up this way. Hmm. Well, screw this place. Let's go to this station. Sounds like a game worth thinking and actual investigation is needed. Can you fail? I like those kind of games. Different from Kill Kill Saves, says uh, Accurate Bob. I don't know if you can fail. You can make the wrong deductions at the end of the case and probably get some people into trouble that didn't actually do anything. Uh, I've only completed one case, so this is the second case. They take quite a while. So here we go. We're at a new station now. Doncaster Station. What's going on at Doncaster Station? Who's this guy? He's done a runner. A funny character. He looks anxious. He's chasing down. Oh, what did he say? I don't know what he said then. Cigar stub. This scent is familiar to me. Is it Chilean by any chance? I must combine my associations into one picture. A Chilean hat, perhaps? Mm, 
moving these bits and pieces together. Wait, what? I'm making the cigar smoke into a picture of a, a hat. Oh, what the... Say what? Can I... I can only move that bit of cigar smoke, can I? This is odd. Oh, maybe I... I can only move it up or down a little bit. Oh, I can... I flipped it. I flipped reversed it. Mint leaves! Oh. So there's some mint mint leaves in there. Okay. Cigar smoke. Um wait what? Yes, it works upside down. Guess Sherlock Holmes can't smell things upside down? What's the big idea, Sherlock Holmes? What the? What in the blazes? This is, um... That's got to be... That's right, but what? Upside down or what? I don't get it. Come on, stupid hat thing. We can do this. We can do this. It doesn't look right this way around. It only kind of looks okay when it's upside down, but it doesn't seem to want to trigger anything. I mean, is it, should it be triggering something? I guess it should be triggering something. How far that way can I go? I can go not that far. So that definitely fits there-ish. There, that's that's a perfect fit there. That's kind of a perfect fit, is it? Come on, what? Come on, what? This is this is doing my head now. Do I want to skip it? I don't know. Should I skip it? it horizontally uh, frustratatrons I get it it's a sombrero and a mint leaf Next to this part, your progress will not be saved. Oh, don't get me stuck on something nonsense puzzle like this. This is what you get if you smoke it, says uh, Drunk Dougie. Oh, wait. I wasn't, wasn't looking, but I did something somehow. <laughs> I wasn't looking, but something I pressed. Let's put it the right way up. Ish. Come on. There we go. Thank God for that. With a strong aroma. Phew! Hint of peppermint. Ricardo, you already know the name of this man. Holmes, you amaze me. You amaze you know, me. Watson, I refer to the cigar. 
It is a Ricardo Turrant. A Turrant. Mexican cigar of an excellent quality. Oh! Quite an expensive one, too. Okay. Okay, it's giving me um, eyeball vision. Pieces of burnt paper. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Oh. Cigar stubs and piece of burnt paper. Apparently, there was a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. What? What else have we got? Cigar? A greenish brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. Mm, oh, peppermint. These ashes and cigar stubs are similar to the one that we found on the floor. Some of the stubs were recently smoked. There are others that appear fairly old. Fairly old. That means that the fellow spent several days here. Judging by his clothes, he's hardly a traveller or a tramp. Hmm. Well concluded, my dear fellow. A man who smoked the Ricardo brand of Mexican cigar spent several long Some days kind of Mexican stroke Chilean bust up. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Brilliant. Nice deduction there, Hola Mooms. So there's a suspicious, a suspicious man at Doncaster Station smoking a Ricardo Durrant. Okay. What time is it? Screw it. I'm carrying on. I'll crack this case. Or I'll die trying. Horse racing magazines. Newspaper articles on horse racing. Hurdles, steeplechase and flat racing. He is a true enthusiast, Holmes. Oh. Newspaper articles on horse racing. Hurdles, steeplechase and flat racing. He is a true enthusiast, Holmes. I haven't played The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, uh, FR Player 1. I, I have not, no. I have not at all, no. What what I miss is Honest Games Reviews. You've missed 90 minutes worth of Detective uh, Sherlock Higton a telegraph. doing his uh, detectiveness, getting his detective out. I'm a private dick. Holmes, look. There's a flooded area over here. Say what? Mm. I believe that the flooded area might be worth checking. You are correct. Flooded area and cigar. So I need to talk to a guy who about a cigar and I need to check out the flooded area as well. This is a big station. Doncaster station is pretty big actually. Blah 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 blah. Oh. Okay. No, okay. There's nothing to actually talk about there, uh, to look at there. I just need to ask about it, I guess. So let's ask the station master. He's just been sat out here while I've been ransacking his. How did you get up there? Doncaster station master. Good day to you, sir. Good day My to you. This is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. John Watson. We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well, good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff, the station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but there's not much that I can tell you about last night. <laughs> hey, my brother's watching. Neil! Hey, Neil. I was just smoking my Sherlock Holmes pipe. Some more spamming spoilers into the uh, the chats. Do I need to block him? Let's check this guy out. He's he's melancholy. He's a sad, sad man. He's missing a button. He's sad because he's missing a button. 
And he's hiding a he's hiding his wedding ring for some reason. Or he's divorced or he's broke up with his missus. What else what else could there be? Something down this side maybe? Something here? Something there? On the side here? What am I missing? Pocket. Po uh. No watch. Uh oh. Oh. Maybe he's a fake train person. It appears that you may be at risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean some horses are just where guesses. Is okay. Feet? Quite so. Okay. But it is strange because according to my map, there should be a quarry here, and behind that, the lake. Well. How should I know? They only arrived here. How should I know? And where did you work before that? Well, I was working in Nottingham. But I asked for a quieter place, so they transferred me here. Life is cheaper. I can't really complain. No, 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 I can't really complain. <laughs> Adam Tustian's watching as well. <laughs> Milked. I've got one of my friends and, and my brother watching. They're uh, just shouting at each other in the comments now. Adam! Right. The passengers. Did any passengers leave or board the train last night? Hmm. No. No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. Just the same as all the other nights. Just the same as all the other nights. There was a gentleman of... Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond? Are you quite sure about You're that? You're quite sure about that. Goodbye, sir. It is obvious that we cannot inspect the quarry. Instead, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. Say what? <coughs> so it wants me to examine... Uh. The beach area around the flooded lake as well now. Oh god, there's loads of stuff now. Inspect the beach area, examine Doncaster Railway Station for suspicious clues and details, examine the side railway branch at Evesham, uh, examine the side railway branch that leads to the quarry at the station between located between Chesterfield and Evesham, <laughs> examine the side railway branch... Oh god damn it. How long is this case? Teapot. A Watson. Would you like some tea? Damn straight. No. Oh. Watson, he never wants any. He never wants anything cool. He never wants any tea. Hi, my name's Watson. Come on, Robo Watson, follow me. I am a robot. I am a robot. Okay. Left luggage. Anything cool in here? Station master's this bag. bag Let's search the station master's sack. Let's get a good grip on his sack and find out what's inside. A letter to lawyer. Okay. I'm going to nick that. Uh, in reply to your last warning letter, I shall assure you that I shall honour all of your latest instalments that I need to pay according to my debts. That's from Edward Duff. A letter to wife. Stealing his letters. Classy. The station master appears to have found himself in some financial trouble. Ruh oh. My darling, I ask you to trust me this time. I shall soon have more than enough money to repay the house mortgage. It's only a matter of days. You may continue living in the house without me, since that is your wish. Please know that I still care about you and hope that you will forgive me one day, despite all of the harm I've caused in recent years. Oh, Edward. Oh, Edward, always a disappointment. Ooh. Railway. P Railway do 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 At the waiting hall again. Do I look back in the waiting hall? Any clues around the sides? I'm guessing it still says search Doncaster. Examine Doncaster Railway Station. So I haven't examined Doncaster Railway Station fully yet because it hasn't told me that I've found all the clues. But basically when that when it says when it doesn't say to examine the station. Um, 
It means I've found all the clues. I can't see any more clues. Oh, what's that there? Oh, that was a chair leg or something. Parcels, things, stuff, ashtray, no. The door, that's a thing. <coughs> I've already. Did I already examine all of this? I think I did. Let's double check. Ticket stamps. Horse racing. Oh, horse racing tickets. Betting slips for horse, horse racing. racing. Oh no, he's been getting himself into trouble gambling, I reckons. Oh, he reckons. Maybe I should go back and ask him about his gambling habits. <laughs> Lols. Yeah, my brother doesn't want to spend more time with me than he has to, so he's not often in these streams. Although he did do a stream with me the other day on my uh, hobby channel. Played some Toe Jam and Earl. You'll find nothing interesting here, I'm afraid. Oh, screw you! Hmm. Fine. Let's go check out the beach. Hey Jimmy Tap, how's it going, sir? He was cleaning up the evidence while he was away, he says. Ah, oh, let's have a look at my deductions. Have I got any more clues to deduce? Flooded quarry. No, that doesn't fit. Okay, we're on our way to the beach area to see what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? Near the quarry and Doncaster Station. Hmm. It doesn't look like a very good place to rest. Yeah, it does not. A fake train. Ha! Ha! What a clever and devilish trick. Indeed. Indeed, Watson. You crazy man. What is this here? Boat trip advertisements. An advertisement Exciting for late boat trips. What else? Gypsies! Hello? Anyone here? An abandoned gypsy caravan. Is that blood? This place was abandoned fairly recently. Hmm. Could they be Chilean or Mexican gypsies? Mm. Observing the coastline and the moon, like they were boats, floating. Then we are able to see <coughs> that the lake's water level dropped. The lake has flooded the quarry. The dam was probably breached. Hmm. Interesting. Time to do some in uh, some deduction. It's a metal label. What have we found? La Sarpas. A label with the name La Sarpas. La Sarpas. Okay. So we found La Sarpas. So, so I need to search my archives for Las Zarpas now. Las Zarpas. Uh, nothing there. Let's keep going up here. Ooh. Is that a, is, are those outhouses? Let's go for a Sherlock poop. Missing items. Tea, biscuits and monocle. Says Ender. Time for a disguise yet, Ian? Says Jimatep. Uh, no disguises yet, Jimatep. I don't know if you do disguises on this one. Um, 
because we're away we're away from um, Baker Street, so I'm not sure if I'll be dressing up in disguises. Is this a little secret area? No, no, nothing secret down there. Let's head back to my archives. I wish there was a run button. Sherlock Holmes doesn't really want to run anywhere, does he? Let's keep going. Heavy wheel These traces. traces were made by a carriage. Look. Ooh. Hey, up. Heavy wheel traces take measurement. What is this? The distance between the tracks is about six feet seven inches. Hmm. Horses. Stone. The vehicle pressed this stone into the ground. It would have been quite, quite heavy. heavy. Hmm. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. Hmm. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. Hmm. A fake train. Ha! What a clever and devilish trick. Shut up, Watson. So I've inspected the beach fully there, you see. So now let's go and search for Las Zarpas. Did I miss something? What happened to the train, says Gavin UK86? That's what the case is about, Gavin. We're trying to find out. Um, all right. Jack the Ripper. Hmm. My search should be focused oh. upon the name Lazarpas. My 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 search should my <laughs> my search my this might take a while my, I was just my, random clicking my 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 search my 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 search my 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 what my 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 god damn it my 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 god damn it my 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 Oh, so there's absolutely nothing. Oh, crumbs. There it is. I was looking in the wrong place. The Las Sarpas barges are leaders in heavy goods transportation. The Las Sarpas labels belongs to the Mexican consortium Caracal, who covers shipping, electricity services, yeah, and mining. Hmm. So they're interested in electricity, those Mexicans. How about it? Do some deducting again. Mexican Caracal have barges, special transport. Oh, tra no. Nope. Okay, here we go. What's going on now? We've got this one down here. The Mexicans have recently utilized barges at the lake, probably to transport something very heavy. Okay. Lots of deductions, but nothing. Pointing towards a clue, yeah. God damn it. <clears throat> Examine the side railway branch at Evesham. Let's do that. I went to make a coffee, and because you're at a different locale, I thought it was a different case, lol. <laughs> Last time he looked, uh, looked, there was a drunk guy at the station, says Gavin. And now there's some water and something about Mexicans, he says. Yeah, it's kind of ramped up. It's gone a bit crazy all of a sudden. We've had some twists. We've had some turns. 
Um, it's gone bonkers. I'm not giving up on the case yet, even though I've I've, I've gone gone on longer than I was meant to on this stream. I'm carrying on until we're done, or at least until my stomach can't handle the hunger anymore. Right. It's got some floating again. He's just got no shadow. He's a vampire! Okay. So, side track. We need to find a side track. Side track at Eva Shop Station. Eva Shop Station. I wonder if I can talk to this guy. The entire train has disappeared. The entire train has disappeared. It's a disaster. Where who is the side track? Is this the side track? Shmi. Wait, what? Hold on. Examine the side railway branch at Evesham. This doesn't. Oh no, it is a side railway branch. I don't know how you get a train to turn a corner like that, but hey, oh. Oh, there was something there. Remains of a building. A building here not so long ago. Hmm. But I don't understand, Holmes. <coughs> Why would anyone destroy the shed in such a manner? Hmm. It was well, disassembled in great haste. It is most odd. Most odd. What about this here? Is this of any use? No. Hmm. Can I walk up here? No. No such luck. Oh. We've got some stuff to find. Multiple traces. Wheel traces. Heavy vehicle traces. Traces. Let's, Let's take, take a, a closer, closer look. look. Alrighty. Let's take a measurement. See if this matches the one we found at the beach. The distance between the tracks it does six feet mm. seven inches. It was Sherlock. He was drugged, dressed as a Mexican, made some bets, and did all of this stuff whilst hallucinating. He saw the train disappear as Jim Tap. Okay. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. So it's the same. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. Mm. The so. traces found at the disassembled shed near Evesham and at the lake were from the same vehicle. Shocker. <coughs> Dialogue. Alright. So the... Something's been disassembled, taken to the lake and dumped into the lake. Maybe I haven't examined this place properly yet, though, because the thing still hasn't vanished. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Shut up, Watson. You've been little to no help this entire case, following me around like a lost puppy. This road should lead to the town of Evesham. Brilliant. Hmm. But I don't understand, Holmes. Why would anyone destroy the shed in such a manner? Maybe they're scared of sheds, Watson. You thought of that, that? Have you thought about that, you crazy Watson? I can't see if there's anything else. Clue-wise, I may have missed something. Let's go and have a word with this um, dude again. See if he knows anything about the disappearing shed and the tracks. Oops. Yes, he knows something. Thinnest set of train tracks ever. Was it a train for kids, says Mitch Draco? Okay, disassembled warehouse. It appears that there was a small warehouse near your station and that it was disassembled. Why is that? It was burgled overnight about two weeks ago. 
The police have already started their investigation, but I doubt that they'll find anything. What was inside the warehouse? Nothing of value. A few hundred feet of standby rails and some spare railway parts. But it wouldn't be easy to steal all of that. And why would anyone want to? No. Unless... See you later, my good man. They were building a new railway track to steal a train with. Okay, hmm. Now what? Examine Doncaster Railway Station. So I've missed something at Doncaster Railway Station. Examine the side railway branch that leads to the quarry at the station located between Chesterfield and Evesham. I don't think I've been there yet. Oh, oh have I? The side branch. Do 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 do. Open deduction. Flooded quarry. No. 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 Nothing there. See you later, Gavin. You K eighty six. I walked away for a bit. Still on the case. Same case, Ian. Yes, I'm still on the same case, Tyler Briley. I'm trying to complete it before I fade away. But I'm not too sure. It seems to be a, a pretty epic case. Is there some kind of side track here or not? I don't think there is. Is it going to turn me around again? Still going. Still going. Still going. Oh, there, there we go. Oh, wait, oh, is, is it Doncaster? Wait a minute. Let's have a quick look again. Examine the side quarry at the station located between Chesterfield and Evesham. Side railway branch. Located between Chesterfield and Evesham. What's the side railway branch located between? Hmm. Head back to Doncaster, there's still a green pin in the map there. Something to do with Mexicans has happened. I don't know where that guy smoking the cigar ran off to. Maybe we'll find him now we're heading back here. Real. Come on, Sherlock Holmes, you can do it! You got any pearls of wisdom for us, Watson? I'm always wondering <sighs> what's on your mind, Holmes. I wish I could punch Watson. If you're watching people who made this game, please install Punch Watson DLC. Ah, yes, here we go. I think there's a side track. Where are you going? That was, that was a weird run. He was all like. Robo run. So yeah, let's check this bit here. Look, I've missed all this. There's another side line. This railway branch should lead to the quarry. Let us take a look. This. What? Totally just. Whatever train comes along next is gonna go straight into the quarry now because of what I've done. <laughs> the rail is rusted <coughs> and looks old, but the railway is still usable. Keep going. Did the train end up in the quarry? Hmm, look at this. The railway ends here. That is strange. <coughs> that is strange. Examine the rail, I've completed that. And it's given me some more. Um, 
stuff to deduce. Okay, what have we got here now? Somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section of the old railway to the flooded quarry. Okay. No. The railway ends here. So that the is strange. So they've dumped the train in the river. Examine the Doncaster Railway. Examine the side railway branch. It begins at the railway switch. Hmm. Still stuff I need to find in Doncaster Railway Station as well. Don Watson gets to run, but we don't, says Sam Moore. That's disgusting. When does Iron Man show up, says Tyler Briley? Not sure. Hopefully soon. Could do with a bit of excitement. Watson has some serious abandonment issues, says the 86 Mad Hatter. Ian, I don't think the train is missing. Missing, It's just the short draw distance, says Kristen the Slayer. We can do this. I don't like giving up on things. I want to finish. I want to try and finish this case before I finish the stream. God damn it! Even if I just end up streaming by myself. You'll find nothing interesting here. I'm. Ah, uh, you douche. Was there anything interesting here? Any kind of change in water level or anything like that? Nothing. Nothing of that bit. What could I have missed? Go in this building. No. I've missed something somewhere in this station. It could just be that I need to do something else before coming back here though, I guess. Oh, look at that. How did I walk up that then? There we go. Ooh, can I climb up more? Can, let's see if I can climb up any more boxes. No, it's not going. He's not going. I'm still wondering where that crazy Chilean cigar smoking dude ran off to as well. Did a fat lagger out the door. Never to be seen again. I've examined the ashtray. Anything here? No. Alright, screw Doncaster. Examine the side railway branch that begins at the railway switch. Solve the mystery of the vanished train. Alright, railway switch. Let's try that again, because I I went to the railway switch earlier, and there didn't really seem to be anything there that was of any interest. So got nothing deduction. Old railway to the quarry. Flooded quarry. Oh, there we go. What's this? <clears throat> the train could have been sunk into the flooded quarry at Doncaster. The train cannot be sunk in the flooded quarry because the old railway that leads there is missing some rails. Oh! It's, it's what's going on there? The train has been sunk in the flooded quarry. That's what we're thinking, is it? What if I change that to cannot have been sunk. And that goes away, and those go red, which I guess means bad deductions. Alright. Getting closer to coming up with the solution. So what are we looking at here? The switch is rusted, but it, it still, still works. works. 
What am I what am I supposed to be checking out here? Oh wait, maybe. I mean, are these my tracks or am I looking at these tracks? Am I searching these tracks? This bit's a confuso confuso odd. Can I go? There doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary with these train tracks, and they just vanish off. Here. Uh, see, it just stops me from going down anywhere further that way. I've definitely missed something there, though. Examine the side railway branch that begins at the railway switch. This is the side railway branch. I'm looking right at it. I can't examine it any harder, god dang it. I don't know where else I can examine. Car, car, car. Guessing I can't go much further than this, can I? What have we got? Anything around here? This road should go in the same direction hmm. as the railway. Interesting. Oh, no. Yeah. Doesn't... Stop it! <laughs> okay, so it doesn't want me to go down there. Come on, give me something, man. My stomach's rumbling. Ah. Oh. Come on! Do this branch thing? No. I can't see what else there is to search in this bit. Oh wait, here we go. Mines. <laughs> this is interesting. Right up there. Okay. Oh, I've got to use my imagineering again. Maybe it didn't go in the quarry. Maybe it went in. Was hidden in the mines. It would be quite possible for someone to redirect the train towards the mines. Okay. Let's go and look at the mines. God dang it! It just gets deeper and deeper. Fedor Dostoevsky, Crime and Punishment. Here are the mines, Holmes. They appear to be abandoned. They do, don't they? Well, f what the hell's gone on with my camera? This is an administrative panel. See what it says. Okay. It says... Watson, you are a gentleman, and gentlemen tend to carry handkerchiefs. Might I borrow yours? And where is your own? I haven't the faintest idea. He's no gentleman. Very well. Here it is. We. We call. We call. Mup. We Coal Company. Well, I've pr pretty much. Oh, I've, I've rubbed it all off now. You can. We Coal Company. 
Coal Company. W-E-A Coal. I mean, These W-E-A Coal. Them. Okay. W-E-A Coal Company. Sounds good. Vehicle traces. Let's examine these vehicle traces. Let's take a measurement. The distance between the tracks four is about feet and four feet and eight, eight inches. inches. So it's a different track. A lightly loaded vehicle. It's lightly in this loaded, way. eh? Okay. Whoops. What else can I examine? There a wooden is a wooden beam, beam lying on, on the, the rails. rails. A small vehicle with wooden, wooden beams, beams went down this way. Could that be the fake train? The fake train maybe came down this way. And look! There's more train tracks this gone. This mine has completely collapsed, Holmes. The train... It is curious. But to be truthful, I am not entirely surprised. It's to... Whoop. What have we got here? Someone screws? removed these screws. Most probably to take down the rails. A few feet of the rails have been dismantled. Okay. Time to do some deduction airing. Mines are collapsed. Rails to mines are missing. Mines collapsed. Stolen rail track. What's happening now? Someone stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section of the old railway to the flooring. Somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section of the railway into the mines. Hmm. Okay, nothing there. Never would have expected this to be a game Ian would stream for so long. Or that I'm also genuinely interested in what happens as 86 Mad Hatter. I can't end it now. Like, you guys who've stuck with me, there's at least 30 people who've stuck with me the whole stream. I can't end now. Uh, I need. To, I can't end without you guys. You know, imagine if I ended and no one knew what happened to the train. Is there nothing in here. Examine mines and find out where the possible. Find out, is it possible to hide a train there? Seems to be nothing of interest in this room. What's that say? Mine guards. What have we found? A lockbox. This box must be the safe. Let's open it. Yes, let's. Okay, what have we got here? We have got another another tumbler device thingamy. I always go the wrong way with it. Yeah! That luck was no problem for me! I'm Sherlock Holmes! Take the, the documents. Mexican company Caracal and the Chilean Barcazas both want to buy the mines. I need more information. Perhaps Mycroft could help. Uh, we inform you that the representative Barcazas group are granted free access from now and the company is the future owner of the mines. Also, starting from today, no trespassing rumors are heard. Do not provide any explanation. This information is confidential. Use the telegraph to discover more about the WEA Coal Company. 
examine mines, so I still haven't finished Watson. examining the mines. It seems that both South American oh, companies were involved in the purchase of the mine. The man at Doncaster who fled our approach, he smokes Mexican cigars. Perhaps... Yes, Watson. We should certainly speak with him. Find the man who's smoking cigars at Doncaster's waiting room. Collapsed mine, a pile of stones, paper package, strange box. Hmm. This is an unusual kind of paper, stiff and dry. It was used for a specific purpose. Let us look inside. What is it? Sawdust. Sawdust. I am almost certain it is a... What's Wait a minute. Could Maybe it wasn't me? sunk after all. Do you have your pistol? Good. Fire at this package. Nice. Bit of first person shooting. Oh my god. I was wrong. Dynamite. The mines were collapsed to hide the train. Dynamite was used after the train was moved inside. The mines were collapsed with dynamite. Somebody wanted to close them intentionally. Hmm, that one. I kind of still think it's been sunk, but I'm not 100% sure now. Why would they steal the tracks? We've searched fully in here anyway. Uh, use the telegraph to discover more about the WEA. Let's head to Doncaster. There's a telegraph in all the stations, but I need to do stuff in Doncaster anyway. How long is this stream going on for, says Beefy Boy? Um, I'm not sure. Hopefully, uh, I can finish <laughs> soon. <laughs> I want I want to finish this case, but it's the longest case ever. I'm still going. I'm going back to Doncaster. I'm going to use the telegraph. This game is blowing my tiny mind. <clears throat> Sup? Please, sir, we would ask you not to leave. We have some questions. Are you the police? No, we are employed by the railway company. We are collecting witness statements about the train that disappeared last night. Lo siento, I'm in a hurry. Really? It seemed that you were waiting here for someone. Could you tell us if you were at the station last night? No, I just arrived from South America. A formidable journey, no doubt. Which country are you from? De Chile. De Chile. All right, let's check out this guy. Clean ears. Oh. Wrinkles. Smart clothes. Strong build. Martial arts. Sigur. Chile. But you are Mexican. No, you are wrong. Why would you think I'm Mexican? Uh, Mexican cigar, I'm going to say. Because of your cigars. Si, cigarrillos. So what? Those cigars are the Ricardo brand, from Mexico. It is quite impossible to find them anywhere but there. Pero not your business. So what is your business here? I don't suppose that you are on vacation. What business brought you here? I was to meet my fellow compañeros. Who were due to arrive yesterday? They were on that dumb train. I will stay here and hope that the authorities find them or their bodies. 
It's now my responsibility to repatriate them. Okay. Who authorized you to do that? The company I work for. Could you tell me the name of the company? What's it's not name? your concern. And what is your name? Enough questions. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Not a very friendly man, and he is lying. He said that he just arrived, but we know that he has been here for several days. Okay. Let's go and check out the telegraph machine. Contact Mycroft. Sometime later. I asked Mycroft to find out some information on the WEA Coal Company. Here is his reply, and it is an interesting one. There are two companies, the Chilean Barracazas and the Mexican Caracal. Both wanted to purchase the WEA coal mines. The Mexican Caracal Consortium had established an initial deal and prepared all the papers. However, the Chilean Barracas group, aided by their influential connection, managed to snatch the concluding deal for the mine. Okay. Hmm. Mexicans versus Chileans. Come on. Oh. The Mexicans held no grudge against the Chileans. Business is business, after all. Eh. <coughs> Mexican Caracal Company held a grudge against the Chilean because of group of Chileans with favors I reckon that one. Oh, that's led to something new. The Mexicans organized the Chileans stay on the train. That is why the controller removed all of the passengers except for the Chileans. Hmm. I'm so confused by this case. Still something I've missed at Doncast as well. What have I missed? Maybe I need to railway. Maybe I need to change my deductions around. All these trains and railway stations, Chileans, Mexicans. And Robinson with his prototype. I'm also lost, Watson. You'll find nothing interesting here, I'm afraid. Oh, God. What am I missing for suspicious details and clues? There's something here. A Watson. Would you like some tea? That I have missed no. somewhere. But what? But what? I've looked in there, haven't I? I've looked in there. Waiting hall, waiting hall. Hmm. Something needs to come together. But what would it be? Warehouse? No, not the warehouse. Maybe something in here? Nope, oh, it doesn't let me go that way. This is annoying me now. Ugh. What am I missing? What am I missing?
Doncaster train station. There's got to be some clues somewhere that I've missed. I'm nearly at the three hour mark. I'm like, no, I'm not. Two hours and twenty minutes. And my resolve is starting to fade. Examine that rail. Examine that rail. Let's try changing my the mines we used. I'm totally changing my uh, things around. The train never passes Chesterfield. Not right. Train could have been sunk in a flooded quarry. The train cannot have been sunk because the old railway is missing. were left on the train chains. Train was just a coincidence. It couldn't have been a coincidence, could it? Now nothing fits. See now nothing fits. What's going on? Oh god, no, this has changed. What's this changed to? The train is sealed underneath the collapsed mines. Now it seems to think. No, that's just... Oh god, my brain. Oh, that's added something. What's this added? The Chileans made the train vanish in order to steal the prototype from Mr. Robinson. That sounds doable. God damn it. I'd st I'm s absolutely stuck. I don't know guys, I just, I absolutely, I've run out of ideas. All these trains and railway stations, Chileans, Mexicans, and Robinson with his prototype, uh. I'm utterly lost. I'm super lost. I hope a train comes when they're on the track and just ends this all, says Jim Matap. My god. What have I missed? Is that a thing? No, that's not a thing. Ah, no. God damn it. <laughs> I 
Me, 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 me. Me, me. See, office tables. The sums are quite impressive. It can be an expensive vice. This man had probably used all his savings. Oh. Right. Bloody racing tickets didn't flip them over, did I? Alright. Let's keep going. We can do this. We can solve this mis mysterious disappearing train crime. I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation Duff to the small town might have helped ease your addiction, but it was not to be. I beg your pardon. Addiction to what? Addiction to horse racing, you crazy bird. We found a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. Well, well, we all have our weaknesses. An expensive obsession, surely, for a station master. Yes. This is none of your business. I occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. Yeah, right. Examine Dor Doncaster Station is complete. Right. This guy. Train passed through Doncaster Station. The station master reported it. The train never passed through Doncaster Station. The station master lied and sent a false report. Perhaps he was bribed with the money he desperately needed. I think that one. So I think the train could have been sunk. Um... Trains were collapsed with dynamite. Somebody wanted to close them intentionally. Someone stole the rails to cover the missing section of your roads. If someone stole the railways to cover that one. Wait, what? Someone stole the rails to temporarily cover the mission. Yes, that one. The train passed through Chesterfield Station. That one. Has been sunk. Chilean stay on the train was just a coincidence. Chilean's left. That one. No grudge. The Mexican cartel had a grudge. Oh, nice. All right. So Robinson's motive doesn't, unless he was a victim. Does that lead to anything? So Robinson's thing just still doesn't lead up to anything. But it was a carefully planned murder. The Mexicans killed the Chileans and sank the train in a flooded quarry to hide their crime. Mexicans' inhumanity to the Chileans has cost many lives. We must act quickly, contract Lestrade and allow the police to inform perform their loud and swift justice, even at the risk of international conflict, or a criminal organisation such as this cannot be confronted directly, it requires a delicate approach, give Mycroft the chance to resolve the conflict, even though it might be protracted and turned into his own advantage. Hmm. I'll just quickly... Wait, what? You found and utilised all the clues in the case. Please proceed to the deduction. So I found all the clues, basically. This really was nothing to do with Robinson in the end. He was a red herring. It was all to do with the uh, Mexican and Chileans not agreeing. So now, do I bring them to justice, loud and swift, with the risk of inter international conflict, or do I give Mycraft Micra the chance to resolve the conflict? I think I'll give Mycroft the chance. Or should I? Screw it. Political game. Let's play the political game. 
There we go. Then the case is solved, Holmes. What do you intend to do? Well, I shall require assistance for the arrests. There were accomplices. Ah, but I know that look. You have your own ideas. What are they, Holmes? On the one hand, we have the local constabulary and advice from our friend Lestrade. Lestrade. The problem we have there is that the authorities seem to be incapable of acting quietly. They rely on brute force. It could result in an international scandal. No one wants an international our scandal, do they? brother Mycroft and his tedious political games. He will locate the guilty parties without any trouble, but it will be a long and drawn-out process and possibly with some compromise that will be to Mycroft's benefit. But I think I'd prefer to give Mycroft a chance. We should overlook our personal differences on this occasion. Let us go home, then. I'd like to begin writing a draft of this story. No, I did not say that we had finished here yet. Well, all right. What did I miss? Watson, we know that the Barcazas Company directors were drowned in the flooded quarry along with the train and Robinson's prototype. But we still need to corner the guilty party. But how do you intend to prove... Oh, no. Please don't tell me we have to dive into the lake. Huh. You may rest assured that I have a far better idea. We have only to use our corrupt Doncaster station master as bait. He will unwittingly trap our Mexican friend. Okay. Of course, you already had a plan. I shall follow you, Holmes. <laughs> Why is this case not over? Well, the case is solved and we shall be heading home. Uh, may we have two tickets to London, please? Right away. Wait, wait a minute. You've solved the case? In a manner of speaking, can you believe that the rescue service miraculously saved one of the Chileans who were on board the train? The police have ordered his immediate escort to London on the next train. He pulled through, then? He's alive? Yes, by extreme good fortune. His condition is quite serious, and the method of transportation has its risk. But he will be held securely by the doctor and police officers. The gentleman carries some vital information on this case. I am sure of it. Ah, really? Your station will be famous, Mr. Duff. The journalist will be here before you know it. Goodbye, sir. Good goodbye, gentlemen. Gentlemen. Sometime later. What could have happened sometime later? Hey, Mr. Adnan. Making an entrance there. Uh, Holmes you making an entrance. Under arrest. Caramba! <laughs> Caramba! You double crossed me! Right oh, hold on, I need to do something with my joypad. <laughs> I think I was probably supposed to shoot the gun out of his hand there. Totally got him in the neck. Holmes, I. I had to do it. It is all right, Watson. He got what he deserved. Oh, my God! I thought I was a dead man. You shouldn't be so glad about it. You'll be up before the judge. Your testimony will be of great importance to the investigation. I would remind you that your cooperation will be the best way to ease your sentence. After I returned from Afghanistan, I vowed never to take another human life. Watson, you did, in fact, save a life. You should focus on that. Now come, there is still much to do. Totally shot that guy in the head. There we go, riddle on the rails. Uh, it was a carefully planned murder. The Mexicans killed the Chileans and sank the train to hide their crime. The damn breach was played to their advantage. They used their own barges to keep the train on the run for a few seconds and then sank it in the flooded quarry. The railway tracks were removed to hide the crime. A criminal organization such as this uh, cannot be confronted directly, it requires a delicate approach. The decision was made to give Mycroft a chance to resolve the conflict. Clues found 23. Conclusion, Mexicans drowned the Chileans. Political choice, moral choice, political game. 
press the button to check your conclusion. Mouse may spoil game experience. I'm going to press it. I got the right conclusion. Hurrah! The Mexicans drowned Chilean, so that was good. Um, accept the decision. Oh, you're about to finish the case. There we go. Personality ranking commiserative. And there we go. That is the riddle on the rails. Finally solved. Solved it in two hours and 36 minutes. Uh, thank you very much to everyone who stuck around and watched me complete the whole case uh, and helped me uh, work out some of the, uh, the hard clues. Uh, I'm done. Uh, that's this uh, stream over with. Thank the Lord. I'm going to go and um, read some books about law and order and uh, try and become a better detective than uh, I am because uh, there was a lot of <laughs> a lot of guesswork there. Um, but it was good fun. It's all, it's an all right game. It's um, definitely yeah definitely an acquired taste of, as I've said a couple of times. But it's um, even though it's slow for some reason it's kind of a little bit addictive playing it like that. Um, so yeah, thank you very much guys for watching. Thanks to Sam Moore, CC Crow, Jim Atep, Mr. Adnan 1992, Drunk, Dougie, Tasma 1986, Mad Hatter, um, and everyone else who's watched, commented, and subscribed, and liked the video. Um, thanks to everyone who stuck with me through the whole case. I'll be back tomorrow, not sure what I'm live streaming yet. It may be a community live stream on Drive Club if the servers are up and running and everything like that. But I don't know for sure, um, so keep an eye out on my Twitter for all of our live stream updates. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye!